In this video, we're going to talk about the anatomy and function of the trapezius muscle. The trapezius is a flat triangular muscle covering the upper and back part of the neck and the shoulders. Together, the left and right trapezius make a trapezoid shape, giving the muscle its name. The trapezius arises from the external occipital protuberance, the superior nuchal line of the occipital bone, the ligamentum nuchi, the spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebra, and the spinous processes of all of the thoracic vertebrae. From this origin, we have a superior, middle, and inferior fibers. The superior fibers are inserted into the posterior border of the lateral third of the clavicle. The middle fibers insert into the medial margin of the acromion. The inferior fibers converge into an aponeurosis which inserts on the scapular spine more medially. In terms of the actions of the trapezius, the superior fibers elevate the point of the shoulder when the head is fixed in position. Contracting to bring the lateral third of the clavicle toward the midline of the body. If the shoulders are fixed, the superior fibres draw the head directly backward, performing extension of the neck. Or if only one side of the superior fibres contract, the head is drawn to the corresponding side, lateral flexion of the neck. The middle and lower fibres of the trapezius rotate the scapula, causing elevation of the acromion. This assists in abduction of the upper limb, allowing the upper limb to abduct beyond 90 degrees, until which point the scapula is fixed. The middle fibres also perform retraction of the scapula, also known as adduction of the scapula. The lower fibres depress the scapula. For example, when you're pushing yourself up out of a chair, the lower fibres of the trapezius contract to pull the scapula down. The trapezius is innervated by the accessory nerve for its motor supply and branches of the third and fourth cervical nerves for its proprioception supply. Arterial blood is provided to the trapezius by the superficial branch of the transverse cervical artery or the superficial cervical artery. And that's it for the anatomy of the trapezius muscle. If you found this video useful, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.